I wanted to share a tip that I discovered over the weekend that may be useful for you guys. So this is my flying wing with Pixhawk and normally I'll do a mission, I'll come back to the garage, I'll plug in the USB cable and then load the data flash log into Mission Planner. Well as my flights have gotten longer and I've been logging more data, it generally takes more and more time to get the log file off of Pixhawk onto my computer. And just recently I flew a mission of about 50 minutes came back to the garage, hooked up the cable, waited and waited over 30 minutes for the log file to download. And if you're not aware, the baud rate for communication is 115 200. So I found a little calculator online and it says that at that rate you can get about 50 megabytes a minute. So that explains that with a 30 megabyte file you're definitely going to look at almost 40 minutes to download to your computer. I recalled reading somewhere that Pixhawk actually stores the data flash logs on the micro SD card. So what I did is I removed the USB cable. Obviously you want to make sure you're powered down. Now this guy's a little difficult to get to, but a set of tweezers that I use. And here's our four gigabyte micro SD that the Pixhawk comes with. Now your computer may be able to read that micro SD card. Mine doesn't. So I have a micro SD to SD adapter. And I'll just plug this into my MacBook. Now with the SD card plugged in, you'll see a folder called APM, then logs, and then you'll see a list of log files starting with one, working your way up. Now I know in my case that log file number 14 is the one that I want, so I'll just go ahead and copy and put that on my desktop. The next step you want to do is open up Mission Planner, and by default you'll be on the flight data screen. We're going to click on data flash logs and in here there's an option to convert a PX4 bin file to log file. We'll browse to our log file location and select it. Then it'll ask us what we want to save it as. I'm just going to leave it as file14.log. Click Save. Now you'll notice the log file that was saved and converted from that bin file. And You can see the original bin file was about 30 megs and the log file is now about 70 megs after the conversion. Okay, the last thing you'll probably want to do is create a KML file from your log file just so you can see some of the GPS data. And in my case, I'm trying to load a log file into Pix4D along with my imagery so it can geo-reference all of the images. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Select the log file and click open. And what you'll see now is a KMZ file and a GPX file created alongside your log file. So let's go ahead and open our KMZ. And now you can see 14.KMZ with all the different flight modes and our flight path overlaid onto Google Earth. And lastly, you want to make sure that you get your micro SD back into your Pixhawk. Now, this thing is kind of recessed, so I always use my tweezers just to get it pushed in. And that is a quick and dirty way of getting your log files off your Pixhawk. Now, in some cases, that won't make sense if you're log files are relatively small but in other cases you could be waiting a long time to download and this process took roughly five minutes to do versus having to wait for that data to transfer 30 to 45 minutes over USB. So just wanted to share that bit of information. I hope you find it useful. If you have any questions or comments please post them below and until next time thanks for watching.